Well, if you can have a Satan club in high school, surely they can close on Sunday because they believe it's the Lord's Day. United States Senator Lindsey Graham. Well, there's at least one thing us on the left in the MAGA community can agree on. Our pure disdain for Lindsey Graham. And I'll tell you, no, 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 no. Remember, remember. I love him. He's a good man. Come up here, Lindsey. When Trump's base ignores his command to stop booing you, you know you're only being kept around because you're useful. And let's be clear. Lindsey Graham deserves all those boos and more. You know, who knocked uh, Trump off the ballot in Colorado? Who knocked Trump off the ballot in Maine? There's a liberal jihad against everything Trump. I'm not worried about those Trump destroying democracy. I'm worried about Joe Biden were, destroying the world. Those were Republicans in the Supreme yeah, Court. But, but, has but, but, now but, put him I, back I, on the ballot. But, but, but DonaldJTrump.com. Go tonight. Give the president some money to fight this bullshit. This is going to destroy America. Aside from stumping for Trump literally whenever he can, Lindsey Graham is a serial flip-flopper, especially when it comes to election-defining issues like abortion rights. I've been consistent. I think states should decide the issue of marriage and states should decide the issue of abortion. Uh, but there are also a lot of Republicans who believe in federalism and states' rights um, and on things like deciding their own laws on abortion. Sure. And this federal abortion ban would go against that. Uh, this is not a states' rights issue. This is a human rights issue. Graham publicly advocating for a federal abortion ban goes against Trump's wishes, so that leads to even more tension between the two men. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks, or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. This 50-year battle over Roe v. Wade took it out of the federal hands and brought it into the hearts, minds, and vote of the people in each state it was really something. Now it's up to the states to do the right thing. Now let's see how Lindsay is taking the news. It's a state issue up to a point, and as that child develops, I think the American people find a consensus around 15 weeks that they'd like to limit abortion. And the state's rights approach, uh, to me, um, you sort of abandon the, your position on late-term abortion. I can only imagine, you know, what it's like uh, to be dismembered. So we will continue to focus on the child and the pro-life movement. It's not about geography, it's about the well-being of the child. He wrote, I blame myself for Lindsey Graham because the only oh reason God. he won in the great state of South Carolina is because I endorsed him. In another post, Trump wrote, Senator Lindsey Graham should spend more time focusing on all the many people being killed because of our now non-existent border and the millions of people dying in senseless, never-ending wars that he constantly favors and promotes, adding, Great job, Lindsey. Trump played a key role in getting the Supreme Court to overturn the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that guaranteed abortion rights across the country. So if he happens to become the president in 2024, which I sincerely hope is not the case, then I think he'll do everything in his power to make it even more difficult for individuals to get abortions, whether it's early on in the pregnancy or later. There is no telling what this man is going to do because he's unhinged, sickening, He's a criminal and somebody who only cares about himself and what he wants. That's it. Nobody else. So let's hope he does not because nobody should be able to tell a woman what they can do with their body. That's it. Point blank period. For LHQ, I'm Chris Williamson. We'll see you next time.